18 months is kind of a long time. 18 months ago, people went crazy for baking their own bread. They got really into riding bikes, indoors. In short, people adapted the way they got things done. And in terms of our work, we all adapted to meeting and working remotely. Thanks to everyone for joining. My name is Caroline Stanford, Director of Product Marketing at Microsoft Teams. And I have the pleasure to talk with you about hybrid meetings. Hybrid meetings. We're adapting to them now as they quickly become a mainstay in our work lives. Can you remember what it was like before the pandemic when you dialed into a meeting while others were in the room? Yes, literally dialed, because honestly, that was a thing. I remember, now this was a good while back, but a colleague of mine was incredibly proud of having memorized his entire dial-in chain, all 14 digits. Back then, hybrid meetings were hard because we didn't have the technology or the cultural norms to treat everyone in the meeting equally. Then, when everything became remote, we all learned ways to be seen and to be heard by our colleagues. We were all on the same footing. But now it's not just remote meetings anymore. It's back to hybrid meetings, but in a whole new way, with new challenges. Many of us are looking forward to going back to the office, excited for in-person collaboration and spontaneous conversations. And many of us will take advantage of remote work opportunities. But it's clear that the even playing field of the entirely remote world is fading away fast. And many of us are getting worried. As in-person meetings resume, are the old clumsy days of hybrid coming back? Things could get bad for the remote attendees if they feel unseen and unheard. And it could be equally bad for those who do make the choice to come back into the office if they feel like they are second-class citizens compared to those who joined remotely. Now here's the thing. At Microsoft, we study hybrid meetings. We understand how people feel, how they act, and the struggles we all face. We see how frustrating this new hybrid phase could be. With our learnings, we have developed experiences and solutions that ensure you have the most inclusive, dynamic, technology-enhanced hybrid meetings possible. That's why I'm here at home. And we're at the office. My name is Amber Weizenden, and I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager for Microsoft Teams. And I'm Ilya Bookstein, General Manager for Microsoft Teams Devices. We want to show you how hybrid meetings can succeed. Because know this, right now, they're critical to building a successful work culture. We're going to make sure that everyone is on equal footing with their colleagues, no matter where they join from. One of the most impactful experiences we've created are the layout options in Microsoft Teams rooms. These ensure that everyone in the office can see remote attendees clearly. Layouts like gallery view, together mode, and front row make sure remote participants can always be seen, even if there is also content displayed. Front row is especially helpful because it lets in-room attendees see remote participants at eye level, making hybrid meetings feel a lot more natural by placing everyone face to face. On the opposite side of the coin, if I'm in a conference room, I don't want my presence to get lost if I'm not sitting close to the camera. When you're at home, you've got your setup that's focused solely on you. So everything you do in a meeting at home is attributable to you. Exactly. Luckily, the solution to this problem is easy. Bring your laptop to the conference room and utilize companion mode. This allows you to participate fully in the meeting with everyone knowing which contributions are yours. And when you join the meeting from a companion device in a Teams room, your audio will be turned off and video turned on by default. So you don't even have to think about it. And of course, you avoid any audio feedback. It will also keep your personal video stream from showing up on the front of room display. 
Nobody wants to see multiple feeds of the same person all over their screen. Yeah, I definitely don't need to see multiple me's all over the screen. Those experiences certainly help make meetings more inclusive. But adding intelligent devices to your team's rooms is the next step in ensuring in-room attendees have increased individual presence and representation in their meetings. Earlier this year, together with our hardware partners, we delivered intelligent speakers for team's rooms which can recognize who in a meeting room is speaking and apply their name to their parts of a meeting transcript. That's fantastic. Now people at home who might not have known who was speaking or people who didn't attend the meeting live know who said what. And we're continuing to enrich meeting experiences involving a team's room by introducing a new category of intelligent cameras. For in-room participants, intelligent cameras capable of producing multiple video streams enable remote attendees to see each person in the conference room in their own video frame, similar to what all of us have come to expect from joining meetings from our personal devices over the last 18 months. Additionally, these cameras can use a separate video stream to provide different views of the room, like focusing on a whiteboard or delivering a panoramic view so remote participants have full context of the conference room space. And in-room intelligent cameras also feature AI-powered active speaker tracking, which recognizes facial movements and gestures to refine the accuracy of its speaker detection capabilities. This helps remote attendees see exactly who is speaking. We'll also enable people recognition, so the names of the enrolled participants show up in their video pane and in the room section of the attendee roster. With intelligent cameras and their capabilities, everyone who is attending remotely will definitely be able to tell who in the room is contributing what. We're also improving dynamic view to help remote participants have a better view by prioritizing video coming from a team's room, giving additional space in the meeting gallery to those room video feeds. This helps ensure that regardless of what Teams room camera is used, I can see people in the room even more clearly. Okay, so another challenge that comes up with hybrid meetings, ensuring things flow smoothly. That's why we recommend assigning a meeting facilitator to help keep things on track. We've also enabled everyone to have their turn to speak by seeing the order of raised hands in a meeting. And this is now also available for remote attendees. This is a great feature because who gets to speak when can get pretty confusing. And seeing the order really helps ensure all voices are being heard. Okay, so people in the room and remote attendees can all be seen and heard. But what if you are in a team's room and someone outside of the organization wants to meet on a third party platform? Well, we've enabled team's rooms with direct guest join which allows those rooms to join a third party meeting with basic controls straight from the Teams room. And Direct Guest Join allows people to join Teams meetings from their third party room systems. Direct Guest Join is available today with Zoom and Cisco. And next year, we will expand Direct Guest Join to also include BlueJeans and GoToMeeting. We know one of the main reasons people want to come into the office is brainstorming sessions. We all yearn for that in-person collaboration because let's face it, hybrid and remote brainstorming sessions have been historically just not that great. In the old days of hybrid meetings, when someone went to the whiteboard, remote participants just couldn't see the content. Or if they were lucky, some kind teammate in the room would try to clumsily move the whiteboard or camera to let everyone see even though that rarely worked. We're now offering a brilliant solution with a Microsoft whiteboard, which you can access from anywhere, whether it's on your PC, mobile device, or in a Teams room. The new whiteboard experience in Teams is a terrific tool for remote collaborators because it's a virtual first keyboard friendly experience that lets us all brainstorm and visually collaborate without any friction. To make visual collaborations easier and more structured, We've created a wide array of templates, so you can start ideating faster and more effectively. And the new whiteboard experience will be available across devices and spaces. 
There's no question. The best whiteboarding experience is in a Teams room on a Surface Hub. That's right. With a completely redesigned Teams experience, Surface Hub is now officially part of the Teams rooms family. That means if you have a Surface Hub, you have a Teams room. The new Teams room on Surface Hub experience has been redesigned to bring your favorite features from Teams desktop into that Surface Hub meeting space. With a new meeting stage, a robust set of meeting controls, and popular features including together mode scenes, chat bubbles, and live reactions, Teams Room on Surface Hub enriches collaboration for the hybrid workplace. And you can also log into Surface Hub to easily access your Microsoft 365 files and confidently present using features like PowerPoint Live in Teams, which lets you see slides, notes, and your audience all in one view. These days, sharing content during hybrid meetings is often plagued by awkward transitions and accidental reveals of grocery lists and social media feeds. It often feels much more disorganized than back in the days of in-person presentations. And so, if you're a presenter, this might make you just want to drive into the office. <laughs> Plus, that pressure to show up in person gets amplified. If it's a high-stakes presentation, especially if an important stakeholder or executive will be attending. But now you don't have to go into the office or have a fancy production crew hanging out in your home to deliver an amazing presentation. You can confidently do it from anywhere with PowerPoint Live. To ensure that I can focus on what matters during my presentation, PowerPoint Live in Teams gives me, the presenter, a single view of my notes, slides, meeting chat, and participants. And we have made it super easy to use. I can do this right on my PowerPoint. All I have to do is click Present in Teams. And now, Ilya and Amber can see my presentation. The new PowerPoint Live features help me visually direct people's attention, even if I'm not in the room. With our new inking experience, you can annotate your PowerPoint as you present or use a laser pointer to call attention to key points. As an attendee, PowerPoint Live also allows me to navigate the content at my own pace. And slide translation is also a great tool to create a more inclusive experience by letting attendees see the presentation in their chosen language. Now, a great presentation is not just about delivering content, but also about really engaging with your audience. With Cameo, a new PowerPoint experience that seamlessly integrates your Teams camera feed into your presentation, you can customize how and where you want to appear on your slides and get layout recommendations from Designer and PowerPoint for maximum impact. But we also know that if you have a serious presentation or it's just been a long day of hybrid meetings, you might not want to see yourself in the video feed. I know I don't need to be staring at myself while trying to deliver important information. Well, now you can mute notifications and pin or hide your own video feed, helping you focus on your content and your colleagues while feeling more comfortable and confident. Now, what happens when you have a high stakes external event? I don't want to have to learn some new application just to create a webinar. And when I do have a large external event, I don't want to be that person who right as the event begins is testing their mic while my customers are watching. I want to show up like a pro. Microsoft Teams allows users to create engaging, dynamic, and memorable events. And the experience is built from that familiar Teams interface you already know. So it's easy to get started. We also have some exciting innovations to share like Green Room a virtual space where you'll be able to interact with organizers and other presenters backstage prior to the event starting. The Green Room experience provides a private space separate from attendees to talk, manage attendee settings, and prep content before you go live. And while attendees wait, they're greeted with a welcome screen and can use chat to engage or post questions with our new Q&A experience. This experience for webinars is now available in public preview, providing a structured question and answer experience that allows organizers and presenters to pin posts, mark best answers, filter responses, and moderate and dismiss questions. External events on Teams feel professional, engaging, and empowering. 
It's important to note that if people make that commute back to the office and stuff doesn't work, or they don't have the right space to get work done, or they just have a bad experience with the tech, well, then they probably won't come back too often. Well, we can help alleviate those concerns. That's right. You can ease your team's return to the office with hot desking on Microsoft Teams Display, the same type of device that let Caroline connect with us right from home. Hot desking on Teams Display makes it easy to quickly locate and reserve flexible workspaces so that you can touch down and make calls, set up ad hoc meetings, or sign in to access your personalized Teams experience. You can stop wandering around the office looking for a place to sit and reserve one in advance through Outlook and Teams. And if you're already in the office, you can reserve the space right from the device. And this experience will be available on the Lenovo ThinkSmart View by the end of the year. And early next year, we'll welcome two additional devices to the Teams Display portfolio. The Neat Frame and the new Yealink Desk Vision AIO24. These devices are going to be the ultimate desktop companion, helping you free up your PC from multitasking so you can stay in the flow of your work. Now, back when we were all worked in the office, meeting rooms were a precious commodity. It could be frustrating when you couldn't find an available room to book, yet when you walked around the office, you saw so many empty rooms. To help ensure your meeting spaces are getting maximum use, we're enabling a way to check in to the room from a Teams panel. You can either check in with a quick tap on the panel or leave it to room occupancy sensors that will soon be able to integrate with Teams panels, automating the check-in process. And if no one checks in, the room will be released so others can book the space. Okay, we want to talk specifically to all of you IT admins out there about what all needs to get done to ensure people have great hybrid meetings because let's face it, we know there's a lot of pressure on you. We're gonna make it easier for you to manage your team's rooms in the Teams Admin Center with a number of improvements, including the ability to customize dashboard views, improve search functionality for faster discovery, and updates to make bulk operations even easier. And we know many people have been waiting for this. Surface Hub can now be managed in the Teams Admin Center alongside all of your other Teams devices. To learn more about these updates and others coming to Teams Admin Center, check out the on-demand session number 103, What's New in Teams Security and Management. Like Ilya said earlier, there's a ton of pressure on IT to get rooms right for hybrid work. But it's a big job, and not every organization has AV expertise in-house. And every IT team has to be able to scale. This is why we created a managed service for Teams Rooms that allows you to offload that work to experts at Microsoft or one of our Teams Rooms partners. And we're enriching those services with some new updates. The first is we're going to provide deeper insights into what's happening across your rooms through a monthly report with learnings based on applied updates, call ratings, actions performed on rooms, and more. And we're also introducing new planning and inventory management capabilities that allow customers to create room configuration standards and templates with recommendations for certified devices. And Surface Hub will also be included in the Teams Room Managed Service offering this December. Now, thinking big picture, for IT admins who are working to make sure their office spaces are ready for hybrid work, there are four priorities we believe you should be thinking about as you lay the foundation for better hybrid meetings. One, understand your current spaces. Do a complete survey to make sure you know everything about your rooms, from the dimensions to the furniture and to the types of meetings that will take place there. Two, prioritize rooms that already have AV for Teams Rooms upgrades first. You already know these rooms will be used for hybrid meetings, so you can immediately start focusing on the steps needed to get those rooms ready for people to return. Three, if you have Teams rooms, make sure they're up to date and consider where you can bring in intelligent cameras and intelligent speakers. And finally, four, equip your non-AV enabled rooms for hybrid meeting scenarios with some form of centralized audio. This can be speaker pucks certified for Microsoft Teams or a certified USB video bar that also works with Teams rooms. That way, when you're ready to enable that room for hybrid meetings, you can easily upgrade it to a Teams Rooms because you've already got a core component taken care of. So that's a lot of information, and we know that. 
We also know that we have so much more to discover about how to make hybrid work the best it can be for everyone. We hope we can make these discoveries together. This is a journey, and we are honored to partner with you every step of the way. Thank you so much for joining us.